Good evening. Welcome to Shadows of Nox and Adrift, where we're finally going to get started. Mm -hmm. uh, after technical issues two weeks ago and more issues last week, which meant we didn't uh, didn't stream last week, didn't even record last week, so I don't know why I'm uh, specifying that so much. Um, I am Ava, your hired sleep-deprived game master. No. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start with some introductions, uh, since we're still rather new to this channel. Uh, so, Teslin, why don't you go ahead and kick us off? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Who are you playing? Um, Teslin Kiranok, also Tom Augustine. Um, I've been doing a bunch of streaming over the last... Uh, since before the pandemic times. Um, and I'm the oldest one on the stream, as somebody felt necessary uh, to remind us during the <laughs> pre-show. I've uh, been gaming for years, um, and I do most of uh, my stuff lately uh, in Shadowrun, uh, including some writing. Uh, on this channel, you can see us hopefully next Sunday uh, me and Andrew, uh, on uh, a Call of Cthulhu game. We're hoping to get that yeah. started uh, back up. Um, but tonight, I play a J Jason Landromos, uh, a, a pilot um, who has a uh, who has a well-earned self-confidence. He knows exactly just how good he is. Um, and he acts accordingly. Uh, Isn't his name Landrominos? Yes, it is probably Landrominos. I just haven't um, said it in the, the, the actual <laughs> part that I generated the name, the last name. Uh, uh, <laughs> so anyways, yes. So um, is there an, and in. he has a... Uh, well, well honed skill for being able to land craft aggressively, uh, which hopefully uh, isn't what caused us to get underground. Yeah, hopefully, you're not like Launchpad McClack or something. Um, no, no, Land <laughs> landing aggressively is not crashing, landing aggressively is getting the bird down. In a mm -hmm. manner that yeah. it can be take off again, you might have to put things back yeah. on it. I mean, occasionally a wing falls off, but I mean that that still sounds like launch pad McQuack. You was a great any, pilot. Any, any, any a landing you can walk away from. Land. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Any landing you can walk <laughs> away from. That's what we're going for here. <laughs> All right. Well, you are not currently in the wreckage of a ship, so it's a good good sign. sign. Vort, who are you playing? Or who are you and who are you playing? Uh, I am Vort. I am someone who's been streaming with this group for three and a half years now. Uh, I am playing... Uh, the character's name is William Buckwald, but everybody calls him Padre Bucky. Um, he's not actually a priest. He's not an ordained religious man of any kind. He just really believes in humanity working together and he's on this to help humanity take the next step with a colony ship like this get everybody working together community spirit you know many hands lift uh strong heavy things kind of mentality all right andrew who are you who are you playing yeah so i am uh, andrew i'm uh, playing Ridge Kalen. Uh, he's pretty much uh, the ship's mechanic if uh, he was actually on the ship. <laughs> um, outside of the ship, he's just a veteran of war, pretty much. Uh, soldier, that sort of thing. Um, he's a family man uh, with five children. Um, and a wife who uh, apparently are not here with me like I, I thought they were going to be but then again I'm in a mine randomly so I'm kind of happy they're not here 
Well, yeah, but that's a shame because she's a really good cook. <laughs> she is. She is an amazing cook. That uh, was definitely the way to my heart for that one. <laughs> but, uh, and <laughs> Christina, who are you and who are you playing? I'm Christina Presley, and I've been playing in the Dresden game for three and a half years. I've played some Shadowrun before, but really Dresden is my favorite. Um, I am playing Hillary Leaf Bellows. Leaf is her middle name, not part of her last name. Um, she is a scientist and a gemologist, just very, very smart, has spent her whole life being prepared for being a part of the exploration of setting up these colonies, and she um, couldn't wait to be a part of it. She's not surprised we're in a mine. Um, she's kind of excited to be um, not in space. So, um, yeah. All righty. So, as you guys might have heard, or I might have mentioned, I don't know. Um, just to recap where we are, given that we haven't really gotten anywhere, um, the player, or characters, rather, uh, along with a couple, I don't know, 150 other people, roughly, uh, boarded a colony ship uh, heading for a... Long journey to a, another galaxy, actually, outside of the Milky Way, hence the requirement for uh, long-term storage, or what was I calling? What, 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 what did we go with for that? Um, Basis? Oh my goodness. I am blanking on that Cold one. Cold storage. I'm just going to call it cold mm -hmm. storage. Cryostasis? Uh, cryo cryostasis, yes. Yeah. A yeah, cryogenic freezing uh, cryostasis, um, which isn't usual for uh, space journeys with the warp drives and everything at hand. However, with this distances they were going, it was required because at those distances it would take months, uh, probably, uh, let's say years, uh, to get where they were going. So everybody hopped into cold storage and... Uh, Jason programmed the destination, uh, leaving it mostly in hands of a VI for minor adjustments to make sure. Well, you didn't run into anything. There. And. Did we know the now? Name of the ship? Did you say that? The ship was the Odyssey. It was yeah. a Celestial Core Odyssey. Thank you. It was so. both the ship name and the journey moniker. Uh, that was the PR name as well. <laughs> <laughs> and now they have all four of you woken up in a mine, a cave underground. <clears throat> the sound of the sound and hum of machinery around you is what points it out to be a mine that has been worked, is being worked. Uh, except for the lack of people, you would think it was being worked. Mm -hmm. um, it's dark. You obviously did not just come out of cryogenic storage. You are in the blue and orange uh, Celestia Core colored jumpsuits, but they are torn and ragged and dirtied, and you feel like you haven't showered in at least a week. It could be your imagination. May you, you can, you're just grimy. There. And you don't remember how you got here. You don't remember being at. You don't remember getting out of the cryostasis. Uh, you've got some. Everybody's got a headache on some level or another. Some nausea, hunger, thirst. You're still getting your bearings. You're not sure. It's dark down here. And it's not like you're laying on the ground. It's not like you're coming out of unconsciousness. You're just here and just aware that you are now underground. 
and not sure why. You said we heard sounds of the mine, like there is activity yeah. in the mine? Yeah, there's the, the automated machinery, the hum of machinery. Um, out of you, Hillary definitely right away recognizes this as a mine. Um, I think particularly because you had, like, uh, oh no, you had low gravity, not... Oh no, wait, yeah, you do have the third, yeah, so, yeah. and, yeah, you've got the thermographic <laughs> vision, uh, so you can, you can tell this is, this is definitely a mine. Um, you're not sure, sure how I big? I'm, uh, okay. I'm gonna try to feel around for my bag that I thought I was gonna be next to when I woke up. Or... Uh, you have your bag with you, yeah. Awesome. You've got a bag, uh, I don't, is it, like, a messenger bag or, like, a, a, a... It's uh it's a backpack. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. No, you've got your backpack on your back as as you kind of expect okay. it to be for some reason. Uh, considering you don't remember getting out of cold storage, it's right. Yeah, cool. it's it's. I mean, it's convenient. But it's there. Uh, it's pull this it's, out and with our stuff. So yeah, you you think about it and you're like, oh yeah, my backpack's there, and you, you reach in your flashlight's exactly where you expect it to be. Awesome. I will uh, take it out and s strap it to my head. Is it yeah. one of the little headlights? Sorry, it's also dark in here at the moment, or? Uh, it's dark. There's some, there's a low level of almost ambient light, you think? Um, and then once, when Ridge puts on his flashlight, um, mm -hmm. you realize the walls are not covered, but dotted with crystalline structures that almost seem to amplify the light when the light hits them. When the light's not directly on them, it just looks, they look dark and dull, but once the light hits them directly, it's They have a lot of lust. Almost like an oil slick type, like a like, like it's the very definition of the word iridescent. Mm -hmm. Okay. It gives off it the purples, the blues, the greens. Some of it's not like a prism, yeah. okay. but at different angles, you can see different colors within the structure. It's not like a single okay. shade. Uh, Hillary, I'll tell you this for free. You have no clue what that is. You are not familiar with this mineral? Metal? Okay. She's going to touch it. Um, actually, no, she's going to first open her backpack and she has a headlamp. Yeah. That she'll just put it on and Fair turn enough. it on to help. And um, then she's going to just grab one out of her supplies, like a little test tube, because she's a geologist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has her things. She's going to take a little bit of it with with this solution she has and she's going to shake it and see if she can identify some of the properties of it. She is curious. Yeah, you're, um, you're able to chip off uh, a bit of it. It It's crystal like um, I, I don't know shit about Jack, when it comes to anything a geology, <laughs> so it's <laughs> aside okay. from Flint what I can remember yeah. from the picture, right? yeah. or let Odin. Um, mm -hmm. and this is also a substance that doesn't actually exist, so I'm making shit up as I go. Don't it's <laughs> science fiction, at least I'm not right. calling it unobtainium. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, leave it, leave it to us to give it a bad name, right? Yeah, uh. Right. Well, considering you're in a mine, it might already have a bad name. <laughs> right, it probably does. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it acts kind of like a crystal. You're able to like okay. chip off a piece. It's definitely not a metal. Um, it feels almost warm to the touch when you when you handle it. Okay. I think let's see, we have a rule for that, right? Or what's this rule? Could be knowledge or 
science. To figure out what kind of crystal it is or whatever. Or what's... Considering I haven't figured out any physical properties of this thing, yeah. what do you want to know? Let's start with that. What are you looking for? I want to know it's definitely... if it's dangerous. Like, okay, okay. Be... I want to know if, like, I should communicate, don't touch the walls. Mm -hmm. Are we exposed to radiation? Is it going to okay. hurt us as human beings? Okay, so you kind of go through what limited calling them tests is probably even a bit uh, overstating yeah, it. Um, but you have you have a um, what's the word? Oh, she has for? double masters and a doctorate. Right, but you're limited by lab. you're limited by the gear that you have. You don't really yeah. have yeah. a lab set up here, so there's only like so much that you can do. Kind of uh, yeah, yeah, a basic yeah. testing yeah. kit like can tell set. you. It, it, you know, it can give you the hardness. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like I said, I don't or know. Like I'm making this up as I go. Uh, so um, I just yet, am I able to yes but, or no know if it's dangerous? Um, from the tests that you are able to do, it doesn't seem to be inherently dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's not giving off any radiation uh, other than, you know, you're not radioactive getting, or typical, you know, you're getting background level radiation. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. There's nothing. I'm assuming she might have something to test the pH of it, like getting a little bit of the powder, testing to see if it's acidic in some way. You shouldn't I'm eat it. I'm assuming it's not. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Right. But uh, um, I'm assuming it's not acidic level on a pH scale. So no, 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 no. Yeah, something that would burn your skin if it got on it or anything like that. No, definitely not. Okay. She's just yeah, gonna it's say, not inherently dangerous. She's just going to say, hey, everyone. My name is, you can call me H Hillary or Dr. Bellows. Um, but <laughs> I think the stuff on the walls is okay if you brush up against it. But just for uh, safety's sake, just leave it alone mm. or try to avoid it as we walk. Dang. All right. Well, uh, how, how well do we know each other so far? Like, do we recognize each other really? Mm. Uh, um, I'd say all of you could recognize Hillary, uh, okay. given that she's the CEO of Celestia yeah, Core's daughter. Kind of a celebrity. Yeah. Um, we've already established that Ridge and Jason mm -hmm. uh, know each other. Um, Vort, how about character name? Character name? Character name? Audrey. Audrey. Buck Bucky. Uh. Well, uh, Jason and I might have uh, interjected at points because I do help out with the navigation team at times. Like, I'm not the top navigator, but I help, like, cross-check So you might and... have helped to yeah. plot the course to get to where you were supposed to go. Yep. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Yes. I'm sure I've seen the others probably in passing, or maybe yeah. they came to one of the... Possibly. There were a whole, there was a lot of, yeah. um, uh, I, I almost said sermons. That's not the word I'm looking for. Um, there was a lot of, uh, I, I don't know, what, what do I like want to call them? Like icebreakers for everybody that was supposed to be on the ship? That's sort of No, thing. it was more like safety <laughs> brief. There were a lot of briefings. Briefings, gotcha. Everybody. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Inoculations, not indoctrinations, but <laughs> so I could see the. Uh... <laughs> so yeah, there was there was a whole lot of pre-interaction that could have been possible. Yeah, it's not okay. a whole bunch of people on the ship. There's about, like I said, about 150 probably. I'm sure it helped with it also, you know, like for a colony, right? social <laughs> events, just to you know help keep everybody talking to one another, connected with one another, kind of thing, because. Oh yeah, you there. Oh yeah, there would have been, there would have been that. Yeah. Hillary wouldn't have been at any of those. <laughs> oh, your parents hated that. <laughs> yeah, because that was a big selling point for this. Was oh look, the CEO's daughter's going, so we believe in this, and you yeah. should too. Put yeah. in much more delicate terms. <laughs> if she was there, she was like sulky and. In the corner, wallflowering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
as as Jason reaches into his bag to see if his pistol's in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That reassures him. You have the basic gear that you the, 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 kind of expect you would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he yeah, the stuff that we packed. Yeah, he keeps a he he keeps a go bag. Anything yeah. super specialized or really esoteric? Um. Um. No, laser pistol is probably the biggest. <laughs> yeah, laser big laser pistol, we'll first aid kit, yeah. survival kit, clothing, and a multi tool. Oh yeah, no, that's all. That's all yeah. easy. Easy, so easy. Just, just the stuff that he learned, if, you know, that you need with that you need with you. You need to be able to grab and go with you at all times. That's the SHTF bag. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, as he's looking around for, I'm looking around for any. It's it's a whole bunch of. It's just the four of us, or are there other people around there too? Just the four of you. In in your immediate surroundings. Oh, okay. Ridge? Yeah. Where are they? Uh, do you hide, you, I, you hide them? I don't know. Oh, uh, I, you mean people? The other people? No, I mean your family, kid, but I don't give a shit about yeah, the other I, people. Yeah, I have no idea. They're, they're <laughs> supposed to, they went into cryo with, with us. I, <laughs> I, I think I definitely need to find them. Um, or at least yeah. figure out why why we're here and what's going on. Is this some weird colony training thing? I think you should definitely write an like complain, and give an interview about this. This is not okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure to give them a really bad review on Yelp. Um, um while you're trying to remember, and I, I want to do these one at a time. If anybody else wants to do them. Oh. Um, go ahead and give me a, what did I want to do? Give me a luck roll. All of us? Uh, I want to handle them one at a time. This is trying yeah. to remember what happened to see what, if anything, you can possibly. Uh, roll. Yeah. I'm just going to start looking through my bag, you know, checking it over again and everything. Oh, okay. It's asking me a for... luck roll. Yes. Okay, I got a success. It's up under characteristics and rolls next to power, next to your power stat. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's one of the characters. Sorry, it's one of the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember what they call those rolls. Okay, so we've got a regular success for Jason. Um, you... Oh, God, I figured out everything except for just a regular success. I've got the fumble, a special, and a critical. <laughs> okay. So, you don't get anything helpful you've got vague flashes of the alarm klaxons grabbing your bag and muffled orders being given by somebody something maybe the ai of the ship you there's just and the headache gets worse I go into the first aid kit, grab an analgesic, pop it. Um, fair, fair. I'll let somebody else do their. Yeah, anybody yeah. else? This, yeah, go ahead and. Uh, uh, so my kit has got nothing to be helpful. If that's what, if we're looking for stuff that's like helpful out of our kits. No, I oh no, I meant like trying to remember. Yeah. Oh, if anybody okay. else is trying to like yeah, figure out how did we get here, which I kind of figure will happen at some point tonight for everybody. <laughs> kind of, I don't you know. see where you click for the luck. Uh, oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Multiplier is normal. Yeah. I too have gotten a basic success. 
Uh, you you get the 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 flashes of confusion. You uh have the memory. It's not even like a fully fledged memory. It's more like a sensation of stepping out of cryo in the midst of pa not pandemonium because that implies a lot worse than you remember. It's just confusion and being pushed one way and then the other. Nobody. Sh a lot of confusion. Pandelirium. Good word for it. I like it. How do you know what your multiplier is? I used to uh, this is, is just normal. Normal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll it, it'll it'll come up. The GM will tell you if it's something special. Usually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, twenty-eight. All right, that's a normal success as well. Um. You you get the same kind of vague, unhelpful flashes, Christina, but yours aren't marred by any klaxons. You you there's flashes of a I wanna do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Um uh, a man's face that you don't you don't recognize. You maybe in passing, but the the features are kind of unclear you were pulled out of cryo he's speaking to you but you can't the 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 words are just like a buzz a hum in your ear it's wah, 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 wah. you're not sure what he said okay um and and nothing helpful that tells you how or why you're here okay <laughs> Do you all think we should clearly stay together and keep exploring? See where this goes? Yeah, I think well, we got to figure out some way out of here. Yeah. Yeah. And try to figure out why we're here. Um, by chance, do, do any of you happen to have a one of these crystals in your bag? Anybody? Well, I just took a sample of one. I mean, like before that. Nope. Okay, no, I, 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 I don't think so. Um, um, apparently, somebody put one in my bag because I, I definitely didn't pack this. And he'll he'll pull out the crystal that happens to be in his bag. That's kind of weird. That I mean, yeah. I don't um, know why they did they mean to give you this this crystal because you're the scientist here i mean i i don't know what to do with it i don't know is it some sort of energy source is that why they gave it to me i don't know why why would we know that i i don't know i'm, I'm that's why i'm asking questions uh, this is well beyond anything i know yeah. about that. can i see the crystal yeah here you go i'll hand it to you and how big is this crystal um, it's about, uh, like, about an inch, um, that's about two inches. Two inches long, about an inch wide, around, whatever. Okay. It's, I mean, it's fairly small. Easy enough to miss in a, in a, in a bag. But it's definitely it's definitely the same crystal as is in the walls. Does it look like it's a in a specific shape? It's not like a random shard or something. Is it like symmetrical? It, is there shape? a rip in your bag? Not that I found. So it looks like it was put. Oh uh, yeah, he would double check his bag, see if there. Was <laughs> one. I was gonna say space age materials are pretty. Right. It's it's pretty sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know what this is. Maybe. No, I meant, I meant yeah. well, that's everything. True. Yeah. Well, you were um, able to chip it off fairly easily, like okay. without difficulty, without any specialized yeah. materials. You were able to get so a chip really of the one in. Hard. So, yeah. Um, it's not like it, it's not like diamond in 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 hardness. 
I don't know what we should think, but I'm going to give it back to you because okay. they clearly thought you should have it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not really just interested make sure in it's carrying it. In this pocket on my backpack. So everybody yeah. knows where it is if we need it for something. Sounds um, good. Can I do a luck roll to see if I remember anything? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Normal one? Yeah. Nope. Nope. I got oh, wow. I rolled like double what what I my breaking point was. Uh so you are trying to remember what happened and, <laughs> and I, I don't it's even almost remember. you just you just yeah. get the loud ass klaxons, confusion, and an, just an instant pounding migraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go back to not thinking. <laughs> that, that's a good move. Ow. I don't even think I remember what day it was when we went into cryo at this point. Uh, thing just hurts. I hand him an analgesic. Just call it what? an aspirin. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you have? What is this? You just hand out random pills now? It's a it's a headache pill. You're sitting there with oh, like okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I just take it. <laughs> it's Advil, dude. Just take yeah. it. I, I don't even like go into like yeah. explaining. Like, no, oh, all right, I'll I'll take it. The painkiller of some kind. Yes. Mm. Hopefully, I don't hallucinate. Uh, <laughs> it's not my first aid kit. <laughs> the hallucinogens are in the survival kit. <laughs> ah, gotcha. I said the hallucinogens are at the lower tier of the first aid kit. <laughs> I strapped the, I strapped the gun belt on. And we start to. I think we should start walking. Walking. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um. Do you? Okay. You strap your gun belt on. Do you have your gun out though? It's in the holster. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, before we get walking, I'll uh. I'll start pulling out pieces from my bag and uh, put my rifle together. Yeah. Make sure it's loaded and everything, and then kind of have it hanging from the strap over my shoulder. Yeah, so it's not long. Um, you guys come across some of the, the machinery that's... Um, I, I don't even know what it would look like. It's It's... An odd, it's a mostly automated wine. Mine. Yeah. Wine. Apparently I need a drink. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think we all need a drink at this point. Yeah. Um, if it was currently, like, in operation, being, like, actively mined, like, the machines are on and doing the things automatically, but there should still be people here you know overseeing maintaining and 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 whatnot but there's there's not you don't come across any people the machines are running as they're supposed to be mm -hmm. um but for hillary i'm not sure how much i should be having you guys roll or not but i'm just going to give you this because of your profession and 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 assumed some competence. Um, okay. <laughs> the machines look like they they they've missed, and um, Ridge might be able to tell this as well, given your 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 work. You haven't worked on like these specific machines, uh -huh. but they have most definitely missed a few like upkeep mm -hmm. cycles, like. You know, the parts are starting to wear down yeah, that should been have while, been replaced a while ago. Yeah. Not like so, not like months or years, mm -hmm. but normal maintenance that is supposed to be done is not being done. So these have been left uh, just running autonomously for weeks. And so they've missed being maintained by someone. Yeah, somebody this this mine is not being actively maintained currently. Gotcha. Okay. Well that's um, not a good sign. 
I'm going to try to go to one of the term. Uh, I'm assuming there's a terminal somewhere. Yeah, you can find a terminal. I'm just going to try and see if I can find a a path. Like it's like this is being mined here, and what's mined is sent back this way to this spot. Yeah, I'm going to okay. follow him to whatever terminal he's looking for. I needed to. I need to figure out uh, a thing. Let me check my notes. Um. Oh wait, no, I already know. Um, no, wait, no, it wouldn't be them. Uh, sorry. Give me half a minute. I don't have my notes open. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, you have a new dark mode. I know, Google. <laughs> it's very nice. We're all proud for you, Google. I need to open my world building document. I mean, you know, they're several years behind Roll20. I think that's something that they <laughs> really should, probably shouldn't think about it too much because. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. So the first thing you notice when you um, wake up the the terminal, um, it's a Hyperion Dynamics branded terminal, uh, which which makes sense. Um, your is well, I don't know how much you pay attention to corporate politics. Uh, Hillary would be very well aware that they have been a rival of Celestia Core uh, for control over asteroid mining operations. Uh, actually, given that, anyway, they they do mining. That's what they, that's what, that's what they do is autonomous mining operations. So it makes sense that that would be their equipment here. Okay. I mean, autonomous equipment, mining. I don't think we're on an asteroid, though, because, you mm -hmm. know, none of us have, like, yeah, you're definitely not stuff. on. Definitely not on an asteroid. So, I mean, at least we're not... We know we're on a planet. That's good. Yeah, they... So, Hyperion Dynamics is at the forefront of self-sustaining mining colonies. Yeah. But it's still... But, okay. Um, Doesn't give you a whole to, lot. Um, but go ahead we're and... We're trying to do the navigate through the menus. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, show yeah, me yeah. the path. Just... Um... Yeah. Let's see, what would that be? Computer use to get into there? I think that... Like, I, like, I'm very much trying... I'm not even, like, trying to hack or brute force. I'm just, like... Huh. Oh, well, it prompts you for a login. Oh, well... That's... So... <laughs> yeah, I got that. I was hoping for the, you are here kind of interface, like... No, this is this is more like this is what the 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 miners, I suppose, is what they technically are. Even though the machines are doing most of the work, right? Yeah, the miners. Uh, this is what they would use to. This is what they would interface with to, uh, you know, check the status of the machine. Um, uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's mostly for the machine. <laughs> the operator to tell the machine what to do and the machine gotcha. tell the operator you know error here or yeah, you know not a uh, informational terminal necessarily yeah it's it's definitely not like an info one. yeah yeah all right i'll, I'll look to you there's like anybody here got a hyper uh, hy hyperix login uh, hyper hyperion uh, dynamics hyperion dynamics I could give it a try. Uh, I mean, I, mean I, was yeah, to, I could see if I could figure it out, but so I was just trying to see uh, if we could find a path. You know, like where is this sending this stuff to? Because then maybe there'll be me, people yeah. there. Let me play around with it for a little bit. I step. I step. Let's see what would be the, the hand motions like. Uh, by all means, go right ahead. <laughs> difference between electronics and computers. 
I mean, I'm assuming computer use would be programming, hacking. Oh, yeah, and electronics would be more uh, the hard side of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to get out my maintenance worker's tablet, the one that I should be using mm -hmm. when on the ship, and yeah. see if that can connect to anything as far as these terminals to get any information that way. Or uh, Let's see, because this is my sci-fi setting, we're going to say there is a universal data port mm -hmm. that is used pretty much no everywhere. Proprietary it, one. There's <laughs> no proprietary. Everything is USB-C. Uh, yes. Rare. <laughs> so, as a reference, not specifically yeah. USB-C. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> universal data port <laughs> yeah. that everything uses except the uh, really, UDP. really, really, really yeah. specialized stuff. Yeah. And even then, uh, you're given a side eye if you make specialized equipment that doesn't use a UDP. <laughs> So do I have to roll to see if I figure it out? Um, okay, who's going first? Bridge okay. or Hillary? Yeah. Because Hillary stepped up By and then means. Bridge meant, Ladies uh, first. I have. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and give me a computer use roll. Um, okay. Let me look at my difficult, my... I really yeah. should have read up more on this system. But for the record, this is my first time running this system, so we're going to be figuring this out together. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, technical mm -hmm. skill. There's another part that would influence this role. What's that? Something we talked about before we started the game. That I don't know that I want to say out loud do you want to message her in discord yeah go ahead and send me that uh message on discord i suppose yeah I will. so why am andrew why don't you go first okay all right i'll yeah i'll, I'll you know hook up my tablet and try to see if i can get into this thing yeah let me look at how rolling skills will work i'm yeah. <laughs> thought it would be in here, but it's not. Skills. Using skills. Here we go. Um, no, we're just going to call this... We're going to call it average... Yeah, roll it straight. Average. No difficulty okay. modifier. No modifier. All right. Uh, where is that? Uh, there it is. Right. Man, I am not rolling good tonight. Yeah, so you you yeah. you plug your um Yeah. Apologies. Oh, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. Um, sorry. So you 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 plug it in, and uh, it basically just throws a um access denied, uh, because you're using a your access is it was specifically for like Celestia Core shit. Um, so your 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 access. The, the automatic digital passcodes basically are for Celestia Core. And as you look closer, the, the terminal, the hardware is branded Hyperion Dynamics. However, um, looking at it, what little your tablet is able to get uh -huh. is that it looks like this is actually Novatech Industries software on this thing. So either it's a joint operation or they just Nova? said, fuck it, buy, you know, Hyperion Dynamics already has the specialized hardware, we'll just buy the hardware from them. Right, so it's it looks a like Hyperion this is Dynamics a Nova Tech. terminal. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But it looks like the operation here is probably being run by Novatech. 
Okay. Um, but that's that's all you're able to get. You're not able to like access the actual terminal at all. So it's like using Novatech code kind of thing or protocols in some way. Well, it's more like, you know, you've got a Dell PC. Oh, but... yeah. Gotcha, Novatech software. Yeah. Gotcha. You try to plug, so if you try to, yeah. oh. you try to plug a Lamborghini, um, or actually, you try to plug the Chevy uh, diagnostic software into a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to work. Yeah. Sure. I don't know shit about vehicles either, so <laughs> we'll go with that analogy. Uh, yeah, so Christina, Hillary, you. Um, so, Ridge, you've got, like, you, you, you know, your, your, your machine says, eh, eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Novatech Industries. And that's about it. Uh, well, uh, password was not the password. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean... Uh, Let me see if I can figure... Yeah, let's see if you have any bright ideas. Okay. Yeah, so Hillary, you 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 step up to uh the terminal. Go ahead and give me a computer use as well, but this one's going to be easy roll for the reason okay. you sent me in chat. Okay. So I go to computer use. Um okay, so oh right, because what would be the base chance for computer use? Because did I give you guys a different base chance for computer use? I should have. I don't think I even have computer use on my skill sheet. Yeah. Yeah, it's under technical skill. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So go to technical. Um, at the bottom. Yeah, it'd be one it's that under you uh, type mental. In. Yeah, it's right above. Um, I'm adding it to your sheet there. currently. Uh, oh, you are. Okay. The base chance for technical skill is technically 5%, but because we are in a sci fi setting, I'm going to actually. I should have done this before. I didn't think about it. Um, I'm going to say. Let me look at the other base chances uh, on here for certain things. I'm going to go ahead and say base chance for computer use, uh, given the setting, is 30. So if you put uh, any points into it, uh, take that into account. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, I put it on your sheet. So your okay. computer use I'm just is gonna 30. Hit so you uh, hit the roll, and then uh -huh. oh, that did not. I thought it would tag. So I, just, I added. It to oh, the mod. Oh, the multiplier is up top. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Anyway, uh, you rolled an eight, so you did fucking fantastic. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, 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 you kind of you step up and you say, "Let me, let me see if I can," and then. Anybody who knows anything about, like, hacking, getting into software you're not supposed to be in, that's not what she's doing. Uh, Hillary, you step up, and, and you kind of you take a look at it, and you try... Actually, your idea is to try a couple different passwords that you're... that come to mind. Uh, mm -hmm. The first... Ding! Gets you in. Okay. You log oh, in just fine. Cool. Like, like, <laughs> like you work here. With an almost. Mark what? <laughs> no, I, I tried some that have worked at work before, and I figured they have to be similar. So oh, okay. we're in. I guess that works. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, and right. Does uh, somebody you... want. Oh, go ahead. Does somebody want to take over? Uh, you might have the best chance here, given this operation is a mine and you are a geologist, so you're you you pretty you you are intimately familiar with the way this kind of software works. 
and is and is typically set up because you've worked. How with about I look around? So she's going to start looking, and uh, she will pull up the schematics and call. Um, what's your character's name, um, Andrew? Ridge. Ridge and Tom. What's your character's name? Jason. And then Padre Bucky. I, I am William, but yes, people call me Padre Bucky. <laughs> now I've been I've been looking around at the various equipment, trying to figure out how they get the ore out of here, and if any of the um, vehicles can be used for something other than just <laughs> ore hauling. Uh, yes, okay. like Hyper Hyperion Dynamics is HP. <laughs> oh. um, I will say, I'll say to Jason, Jason, didn't you say something about, this is the schematics of the mine. Did you want to see them? Um, okay, I walk over and try and look for a space for the, for the exterior spaceport. Or wherever they would pick up the uh, ore. Uh, yeah, um, you can you can find that easy enough. You guys have uh, schematics of the mine. Um, you're not. It takes a minute before you can orient it to where you are because you don't have a whole lot of reference points at the moment. Um, but you can you can you can figure out. It's got you know the different machines are marked on the map. It looks like it live updates because I mean as they mine they move. Okay. Um, so it's relatively live data. So then the fastest, in theory, the fastest moving pieces of equipment are the ones hauling ore around, ore around I would think. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Um, yeah. Yeah, they would definitely be. So I kind of... There move. are basically, um... Basically, they're mine carts without the need for rails. They're on. They're on. They have tracks, treads. Tra uh, yeah, yeah. Ma a maglev. Like tank treads, basically. Oh, okay. okay. Now we're not quite at the level of everything maglev. So it doesn't. Okay, so they don't float. They just. They don't float. They have. They have. They have treads. Yep. Okay. Um. So all right. So we also if anybody. If anybody, player or viewer, finds inconsistencies in my world building, I mean, I guess point it out, but... <laughs> Do so tastefully and respectfully. <laughs> yes, I haven't done a whole lot of deep world building. This is kind of being built as we go, almost. Um, then I would... So if you want them to be... It, it, okay, if you want them to be maglev, that fine, we can do that. It would actually... I'm not... <laughs> It would actually make I don't sense need for them it to, to be, be track. Right. Yeah, it actually makes sense for them to be on tracks because they're going to be driving in a new spot. Yeah, and it's a mine. You never know when you're going to hit a vein that throws off maglev. <laughs> oh yeah, that that is that is that is that is very <laughs> very good points. Um, at this point, okay, we'd find a. Uh, I'd find uh, a pathway to the to the spaceport that would get us there um yeah so in the the it's not like it's not like a map as as like you would picture like i don't know why i'm picturing mini maps in video games it's not it's not that clear yeah you've got the machines are marked um the carts are it takes you a minute to find where the carts are um, because it seems no, no, that wouldn't be right. Scratch that. Um, they're not they're not very precise. We're we're talking rough locations for the carts because they move around so frequently. Um, and the 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 data isn't like to the foot or inch. Uh, it's just kind of a rough area. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're able, you're able to find, there's, uh, it looks like, you know, fuck it, one, there's one real exit to mm -hmm. where everything is being carted out of. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, 
do I want to? No, I'm just gonna give. I'm not even gonna. Ma I'm not. I'm not gonna call for spot or notice or whatever they call it in this game. Um, there's also an area that nothing's really labeled on this. I mean, it's a mine. What are we gonna call it? A uh, mine. Uh, yeah. But there's a room. Calling it a room is a little weird because it's a, it's a mine. There's a offshoot of the mine that doesn't you're not sure what it's for. Maybe a temporary storage area. It doesn't have any machinery. Okay. So it's not like it's not like, you know, there was a a vein or a cluster of these crystals that was being mined out of here. Um, it's just like a dead end. It's like where you first... woke up, for want of a better term. Okay. It's, it's kind of similar to that. Like, that was a, a... There was only one way out. There was only one exit from that, but there was no... You weren't in a room with a machine. Um, right. It was kind of a unused space. Maybe there's other people there from the ship. That's kind of what I assume it would be, since there's no nothing there. The computer doesn't care about it, but it's yeah, where they would. Yeah, there's nothing noted special there. Uh, I take a picture of the display, so we don't. When we walk away okay. from here, we we still have it. I mean, yeah, I assume, no, that's, that's I assume easy I've got a small to... rudimentary data pad, nothing like what Ridge probably oh, yeah. has. But... Yeah, you guys have basically, like, yeah. um, w personal communication devices. They're mm -hmm. <laughs> smartphones, for want of a better term. But, yeah. right. you know, a lot of the features don't work because there's no access. You don't have any access to the... I like have a signal. Um, okay. Yeah, A, you're in a mine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, but there doesn't seem to be any access to the planetary communication it's... net. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any planetary communication that you can tell. Uh, you also don't have any access to the. There's a. There's a, a much wider. Um, there's actually probably multiple. I'm thinking now in terms of like how Shadowrun has the different grids for yeah. the different corporations or or you know nations and whatnot. Um, but on a much larger scale, there you don't seem to have any access to any of the, um, we'll just call it a communication, okay, grid, network, whatever. Anything else we need in here? We start walking. Yeah, you could basically what uh, what I what I meant was like you guys have like phones for one to communicators. Uh, that feels uh -huh. too. I don't know, cliche. Um. You have personal communication devices that you can basically download the map onto because Hillary has access to okay. this to this system, mm -hmm. and I mean, you guys have you guys have USB cables you can plug in and download to. <laughs> Wait, we're we're playing uh, so Doom have on this, right? We're playing Doom on this uh, notepad. <laughs> <laughs> we can definitely run Doom. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think but do we, we want to go ahead and uh, take the midpoint break before you guys head out to figure out what's in that other room? Yeah, sounds good. That sounds good. Sounds good. So we'll be back in ten ish. Welcome back. We're back. I'm still exhausted. I'm still Ava. This is still a drift. <laughs> <laughs> and we're ready to see what we find. So you guys make your way through the mine. Um, it's a pretty... I mean, it's a mine. It's not... I don't know. It's a mine. It's not... There's not... They're not straight corridors and, and neatly, you know... I don't even know, so I don't know how you would know. Anyway, it's a mine. It's very <laughs> it, it, natural. 
yeah information um (laughs) yes twisty Uh, twisty turny buffing our heads um we learn after a bit that it's probably best if uh hillary walks first because you can see in the dark right and yeah, I have a headlamp. Oh, you get the headlamp yeah. on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we let. Yeah. She and Ridge have headlamps. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, it's not so things. much that Hillary can see in the dark; she can discern uh, heat. Okay. Variations. But she doesn't share that. No, but you, but um, but it, you know, yeah. it's easier for you two leading. There's less, yeah. less bumping yeah, and swearing. I mean, if I'm the, the only. Uh, one with a visible flashlight, then I'll yeah. probably be leading. Yeah. Trying to follow the. Uh, the Hillary the, also has the, one. The, Hillary oh, also has a headlamp. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. 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 It's, a headlamp. it's a headlamp. Lead. Yeah. You know? Yeah. She's, she's likely the management right now. <laughs> <laughs> Closest thing to it, maybe. Um. <laughs> Boss, and they all know who I am. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you get yeah, you guys make your you guys make your way through the mine, twisting, turning. Uh, every now and then, a really large, or no, because they would have been mined out by now. Um, anyway, uh, every now and then you catch a glimpse of maybe a smaller piece of that crystal embedded in the walls that reflects the light as you pass, and it catches your eye for a moment. And maybe one of you will pause and then have to hurry to catch up with the others. Uh, and nothing major, but it just seems that really... Ridge, you find yourself wanting to, like, pull out the crystal and, like, just uh-huh. hold it. Because it's it's warm to the touch. Like, you would expect it to be pretty cold compared yeah. to the ambient air, but it feels, it, it, it feels warm. What, why is it suddenly being warm? Well, it always has been. Like just when you okay. touch it, it's not like it's radi- It's not like it's giving off right. heat so much as just when you touch it, it's 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 warm. Yeah. For a moment, you almost think like when you you find yourself pulling it out, you almost think living. But I mean, it's it's a crystal, so obviously mm-hmm. it's not. Yeah, I know. I know. Crystals can't live. Um. And then you have that thought, and you're like, "Wait, yeah. what? Why did I pull this out?" And you you know you tuck it back in your bag again. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure it was still there. That's that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> right, and then so you guys get to the um room. Um, and Hillary, you're going first, right? How do I want to do this? I don't know how this works in this system. Just tell us what you want to do, and we, we can give you suggestions. <laughs> um, okay, so you, you get to the room, and you, you find your steps kind of slowing, and... You realize very quickly, yes, there are people in here. No, they are not other uh, Celestia Core colonists. Um, they appear to have been here for a long time. They're very two of one. There's. I'm going to say three because I don't know how deadly the system is. That should okay. clue you what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> They're they're very, very thin, like emaciated. They seem maybe they're miners, maybe maybe just regular like just regular people. Like if you assume this is there's it it's a mining operation of some kind, there's going to be a settlement, maybe some families. Uh so maybe Maybe miners, maybe family of mine. They're not in the Celestia Core jumpsuits. Okay. That you would expect the any Celestia, the, any Odyssey colonists to be in 
is what you would expect. Uh, and these people have obviously been here a while. Uh huh. And as your light falls on them, they all simultaneously turn to look at you as you enter, and their eyes are giving off the same kind of iridescent light that the crystals do, only these seem to glow from the inside. They're not just reflecting your lights. Perfect. Oh, great. Perfect. Um. And basically, as soon as they catch sight of you, uh, they pounce. They don't seem to have... They're not in their right mind, and that is very, very clear as they are, well, one, attacking. Um, they don't speak words. Because they're, they're too busy glowing. They're basically picturing, basically, so picture feral ghouls. Mm -hmm. Right. They're very thin and emaciated and... Terrifying. They just seem to be wanting to tear you to shreds. And we're going to find out uh, how combat might work. <laughs> Hang on. You know what? Work on that while I get my system working again. Uh-oh. Go ahead and uh, figure out how you're going to do combat, uh, but I will be back in a second. Okay. Yep, yeah. that's fine. Uh, I have the combat section in the book open. We are going to figure this out together. We still um, have uh, audio on the stream. people still it's hear us. Oh, good. Visibility we do. that, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they lost that. Or I want to do X. I'm going to attack. Uh, defensive actions don't need to be declared at this point. Uh, you're obviously going to defend yourself when you are attacked. Um, and I am back and we now and... have audio again. Because you would have disappeared for a moment while I restarted Discord. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we had audio That's for a fine. good portion of it. Yeah, no, he did it. Just everybody was frozen. But I figured before we get... Okay. Right. Okay, so after instance, we don't have any... We don't have anybody with... Any powers that would happen in combat. But basically, if you're using, like, a, a, a magic system... Uh, powers would have those those magic powers would base would happen before any of the actual uh, actions which happen after the power. So if you're shooting melee attacks, uh, that's when that happens. You're either engaged in combat or unengaged. If you're engaged in combat, you're in fist you're in punching range. Uh -huh. um, and like I said, we'll deal with that. And obviously, you resolve everything after that. Uh, okay. That is the quick and dirty of how combat works. Now we're going to see how it works. Uh, there are three, we're just going to call them ghouls, um, attacking, uh, quite obviously. So, I shoot them. Well, one of them. Yeah. Going to get... Do we have time to try to shoot them before they pounce us completely? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll say that. Um, okay. I'm going to just create have a. I know Jason's going to probably go first. Uh, everybody, go ahead and tell me your uh, dexterity. Uh, one at a time, Jason. What is yours? Um, confirm it. Nineteen. 
All right. Who goes after 19? <laughs> Mine is 16. Oh, shit. And nothing? What do you got, Padre? 12. Then it'd be you. <laughs> and what is... Um, uh, dexterity? Ridge is coming in at a 9 dexterity. What was Padre's? 12. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be the... Uh, I, in comparison, move slow and purposeful. <laughs> Do things. Let me see. Um, when would they act? Okay, so they would go... Let me not flip away from the combat section. All right. Statements of intent. So, Jason, you plan on shooting one of them? Um, yes. Okay, Hillary, what are, your, what are you going to do? They are obviously trying to attack you. They're basically, um, like I said, feral is the best way to put it. Um, I'm trying to remember if I chose knives. I don't remember what. I decided. I'm sorry, it's I pretty clear that you don't him. remember because we had to recreate your character from one of the pregens that I made. Yeah. Um, you have... You do have some skill with knives. Um, you have some a pretty good brawl. Um, so that would be, like, uh, unarmed. Mm -hmm. Do I have a gun? Um, what is your... No, yeah. I want you, well, you have some. You have you have decent skill with a pistol, so you could have um, you could have a pistol. Yeah. Um. She will just. Does she have martial arts? Um. Does not look like I'll you have. Grab all night. A uh, shield brawl. It looks like that's your best chance. Okay, so you're basically so you're gonna... more or less going to. Like, grab and throw. Like. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me look at the difference between brawl and grapple. Because grapple is a separate skill. Brawling is for... Brawling is more unarmed kicks, punches, headbutts. Yeah. That, well, that's higher for her, so she'll do that. Yeah, grapple is more like uh, subduing, wrestling. Yeah. Okay. So you're basically going to try and knock one of them out with a right. punch. <laughs> Fair enough. Padre, what are you planning to do? Uh, uh, hide. Like, just find <laughs> something to hide behind. I'm not okay. a fighter. That's fair enough. Uh, Bridge. <laughs> um, I... Jeez. I mean, if they're coming at us, my, uh, my reflex would be to shoot, shoot them with the rifle. Yeah. 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 No, fair enough. Well... Mm. Yeah, I don't know if they're infectious or anything. Yeah, I'll just go with my reflex. Yeah, you have no clue what's going on except yeah. that they. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there might be a pretty clear answer as to whether or not the crystals could be dangerous because they mm -hmm. do. Think that, like I said, their eyes are giving. Yeah. A light. I mean, I have I have twenty shots per, uh, well, fuel Flip. pack. So. Uh, yeah. I just, I, right. I don't know the next one I'm going to charge it, so that's the only thing that gives me hesitation. Right. Well, you know there's a settlement of some kind, so there's, right. you, you know, there's so got to be, yeah. there's got to be means. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, no powers, so action. Jason, you will be the first to act. You okay. are going to shoot them. Let's find out how that works. All right. Uh, you can attack against the target. All mm -hmm. right. Let's see what that. All right. So. Oh, where is the net? 
Since your character can make an attack against a target on their dex rank in addition to moving up to five meters. How does that work? <laughs> That's my question. Okay, right. So these, right, 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 right. These are opposed. So you rolled your attack. Oh, I really should have made sheets for these guys. What have we got? This is versus their deck. Let me make sure there's nothing. Okay, they have a 45 for dodge. So, okay. Okay, so both succeeded. That means... Okay, so you, you 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 take your shot at this thing, um, and it seems to it, it leaps out of the way uh, uh, of your laser, and you just it, it scores a gouge in the ground instead. Uh, Hillary, yeah. So I just do your play. thing. Uh, yes, so... So it dodged uh, your uh, shot. Yes, it dodged. Uh, I don't have to put, like, HP or... No. Just, just hit the dice. Yes. That should be... That should do it. Okay, we got a success. Uh... It's again forty five dodge. Woo! Okay, that's a failure. What? Uh, Who was that? The uh, that enemy. was it dodging. Uh, so it fails. Who failed? The it, enemy. Uh, the the oh, okay. who failed okay. to dodge. Uh, so you do deal. Oh god. Dark way. Sticky note collection. Let's see. We're just going to say G1, G2, and G3. Uh, we're just going to say, we're just going to go in order. Jason, the one you're currently shooting at is G1. The one that you just shot, that you just punched, Hillary, is G2. Well, that worked out nicely that I did three, and then one of your players, one of the characters is... Nope. Okay. Oh, uh, they have... Okay. So yeah, you you take this thing right on the chin. Uh, kind of snaps his head back for a second, and then he's right back snarling in your face. Um... Padre, are you... doing anything other than just kind of you know, basically backing out of the room and, and into the <sighs> mine? Uh, it's all a mine, but you know what I mean. It's not like there's a door or a doorway. It just kind of opens into off the main shaft. Yep. Okay, nope. Well, that doesn't, uh, I'm gonna say that does not take a roll to do that. So, Ridge. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Take what's up? Question. You using, uh, the op you using the optional rules so that people can dodge missile weapons? Normally they can't as I'm reading this. Well, 
or if they do, they yeah, usually they, they do it at a penalty. No. Okay. So let's see. Normally, a character cannot dodge against bullets or high-speed projectile weapons, arrows, lasers, etc. Instead, it is assumed that they are dodging out of the direction the weapon is being pointed. In this case, your character is only able to attempt a dodge against the first such missile weapon in a combat round, and only if the attacker and weapon are visible. Oh, such attempts are difficult. Well, crap. Okay, so yeah, that should be that should be difficult. Uh, let me. So the next shots, they won't be able to dodge necessarily, but or unless if you take multiple shots in the same round. Right. Uh, and even, and even then, they're regardless. difficult. Yeah. Um, so forty-five, a difficult would be what twenty-three, because it halves it. Yeah, I believe so. Yep. That sounds right from Cthulhu. Yeah, okay, so I take that back, Jason. You did, in fact, hit yours. Uh, and, and, they tried to and... dodge, and they almost, but not quite. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so yeah. Uh, it did manage to throw itself to the side at the last second um, from your laser. Or, well, it tried to, rather. Uh, but you were able to... You've, you've, you've done this before. Maybe not against these, but, I mean, they were once human. They're not... You know. They're not non euclidean creatures. <laughs> you, you can't be as good as I am without having to kill some people every once in a while. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, there's there's that cockiness. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Ridge. Yes. You can go ahead and take your shot. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, let's see if I have a little bit more success. Let's see. Is there this... anything about? Yeah, this should all be calculated together. So there we go. Uh, success. Uh, we got a forty-four out of sixty-eight. Nice. And uh, did eight damage. Holy God in heaven! Yeah. Thirty-six plus three. Ooh, it succeeded in dodging. Whoa! All right, all right. Come on now. This thing got very lucky. All right. Can I shoot again then? <laughs> um. I can't let Jason That's get good. the first hit. <laughs> and not hit right. I'm gonna hear about it forever. If a particular oh, your weapon allows for multiple attacks. Um, SR uh, is two. So okay, that, yes. That, that that okay, so each awesome. successive attack uh, okay. is at five dex ranks lower than the previous, so it'll be at 63 instead of 68. At 63, okay. Yeah. Um, so I got a 54. 54. I'm just... All right, and it cannot dodge this. Awesome, and that's 13. Uh, Damn, you Ladder this thing. Nice. Um, for a second Hopefully nobody shot. noticed the first shot. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, everything is happening rather quickly. Right. Um. At, at, so at the moment, nobody noticed your. Right. And there, I mean, I just, and you've uh, got Jason firing as well. And oh wait, right. yours. What kind Mine of is a blaster here? rifle. So blaster rifle. So it's yeah, it's energy. Okay. It so makes, it's, okay. It makes the pew pew. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I use okay. back. Yeah, no. Uh, go ahead and just go ahead and describe what happens to the, oh. you just sh straight out one shot this thing. Uh I'll let you describe yeah, so I, uh, what remains you know, I shoot, up. I shoot two times and uh first time of course goes a little bit over its shoulder as it's moving around and then the next shot gets it right in the face and its head just kind of burns and blasts through. Ooh. Out the back. It uh, smells like pork in here now. Oh. No, if I wasn't hungry, I am. <laughs> I just realized when now that, he, yeah. now that he said it, I can shoot two more times. I believe. Oh. <laughs> so you have a, a, a. What would that be? Let me get yeah, I'm yeah, just making things nice. simple for Ava by saying I'm dodging and I'm hiding. Yeah, <laughs> right. it's, it's, I've got an attack of four. I've got an attack of three. Let me see. 
you have how many uh, shots are in it? Pistol laser. I believe. Wow. Three. Holy crap. Yeah, you said it. You said it drops down by my decks, though. By uh, decrease by five. Yes. Oh, ammo is twenty. Okay. Just so each successive shot is at five less. Yeah, just yeah, five less percentage. Okay, that's not. Yeah. Okay, so then then this one. Is... Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take your two successive shots if you're gonna so take both. That's a success. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Nice. Is there critical successes in this? Uh, there is. That is not at the level of a critical success. Critical oh, success okay. has to be <laughs> at uh, twenty percent of your base. Your of your your chance. So seventy five. Twenty percent of seventy five would be math. <laughs> That's what that would be. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be, 60. be... It'd be if you no, it'd be fifteen. Well, oh, 15. 15 off, 60% is, uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, 15 off of that, which... Uh, no, which 20, it would be 20%. Uh, so he's, his chance, his skill is at 75. 20% of that is it has to be 15 or less to be a critical. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so the next... Because we want low in this system. Yeah. yeah. So there's the next two shots. Oh, and or... technically that would have been at 70 because it's a second right. shot, so... And so the second one would be at 65. So you got a 26. That's that's nice. Uh, go ahead and describe that kill. Um, the first one wings it a little bit so it can't move. And um, then the other two just cut it in half. Now that yeah. I got it to stand still for a second. Let me make sure there's nothing special about multiple attacks for Brawl, since I'm on it. Well, that doesn't help me. It does not look like it, from what I can see. Okay. Which I suppose makes sense. Uh, okay, so let's see how the other one is doing, because I need to figure out how the wounds work. Uh, so two down, one to go. But let's see how that one is doing. Do, 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 do damage, 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 damage. Um, apologies. Okay, we are not using lo hit locations because, dear God, I do not. Okay, how did the wounds work? Uh... Okay, it did not sustain uh, any wounds. It did take hit point damage, but not enough to wound it. Okay. All right. So back to Intense. Jason. Uh, there's one left. Yep, it is the one that Hillary is currently in melee combat with. Oh, wait, hold on. I need it to go. It's going, it's, it's trying to rip and tear at Hillary. Hey. So. Ouch. Mm, we'll not do that right now. So let's just, uh, 
claw. All right, it's got a <laughs> got a thirty percent on this. Oh wow! Uh, go ahead and roll your um. Uh, let's see. You can dodge. I believe that's what that would be. And let's see where that is. I believe it should be let's see. under physical. It's, yeah, it's yeah, under physical. Yeah. Okay, on my sheet it's under combat. <laughs> it's also there. Okay. Um. How'd I do? I can't see it. Uh, you succeeded. You got uh, 37 on oh, your dodge okay. of 40, so you succeeded. All right, so yeah, you, it is, it's trying, um, uh, the, the nails on, as you, you kind of, you catch a, you, you catch a glimpse, and it's pretty, ouch. Well, you're, you're pretty familiar now with what those crystals look like. It looks like it's fingernails have almost, have, have turned into those crystals, and it's trying to scratch you. Oh, great. Uh, okay. You are managing to keep it at bay. It does not manage to draw any blood. It doesn't manage to, to, to scratch you. Okay. Uh, okay, now we're back at the top for intense. I gotta figure it. Okay, so if you're, go so if you're planning to shoot into melee... <laughs> Um, Use wisdom. It is a. Use wisdom. I need to look at the difficulty <laughs> that they have here. Just shoot at whatever moves, right? So if you're shooting to melee, don't miss. Right. <laughs> Basically, yeah, everything. It'll be a. Melee. The whole thing. 50 50 chance of we're just killing gonna call one of the it players. A we're we're okay. going to call it a difficult shot. So it'll be at yeah. uh, 50%. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, no, I'd already decided. Um, it's uh, it's easy enough for uh, I'm just simply going to use martial arts to uh to knock it back away um from um from Hillary uh to okay. give to give Ridge a shot at um blowing it up with a rifle. All right, uh, Hillary, what's your intent? Well, she can pull her pistol out now, shoot, or she can... Given what his actions are going to be, yes. Um, sure, she'll take a shot. Okay. Let me get back to my William? sheet. William? Padre? Uh, again, I will continue to hide. I, I'm not, I don't like fighting. I'm not a fighter. That's fair. That is fair enough. Uh, Bridge. Uh, I'm shooting whatever this uh, last one is. Yep. Um, is it currently in melee with uh, someone then? It is currently is in melee with Hillary. Hillary? Um, okay. Jason's intent that he has stated is he's going to shove it back and away. Can I change my decision for the two lights? Yes. No, go, go um, for it. She's just gonna martial art, um, like do a kick to make sure it gets away from her. Yeah, yeah. My goal okay. is to try to shoot it once I got a bit of a better opening. So, like one okay. out of melee, essentially, if that's happening. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Um. Okay. So. I mean, I I, sh I probably don't have to say its intent is it's going to try to continue uh, scratching and or biting Hillary. <laughs> well, I mean, so you know, I'm Jason. close and I'm real pretty, so it might it might come after me. <laughs> um, uh, oh. All right. Wow, that was not good. Uh, in my in my in my concentration and not accidentally kicking Hillary, I missed. Okay. Uh, what does that look like? Um, honestly, uh, embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I, I go to do this flashy kick, and Hillary 
probably moves into something a little bit more conservative, but just as effective. And to keep from kicking her, I have to kind of flip and land while not, you know, while I don't hurt myself, it doesn't look pretty. Okay. Um, I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad my hoodie isn't here to see this. <laughs> Hillary. Yeah. Go ahead and um, make... I roll. Yeah, make another brawl roll. We'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll just call this brawl. That makes sense. All right, so... Let me see if... My score of five. That's a, uh, that's the damage roll. Yeah, okay. Damage roll. Uh, you, you rolled a 28, which is really good on a okay. 60. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was like, well, she's dead. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy that uh, now if Jason gives me shit for missing my first shot, I can, you know, <laughs> not knowing what to do in close combat at all, apparently. <laughs> just didn't work out right. They, not every <laughs> Not every hit is perfect. I'm not saying I'll make the comment. I'm just trying to file it back away yeah, yeah. as a defense. <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't gonna hurt. You, he wasn't yeah. gonna harass you. He's really worried about that hoodie. Right. Yeah. I mean, last thing that I, I need is you to tell my daughter how awesome you are. You know, better than me at being a shot, and then I'll hear it from her every day. Oh. Uh, uh. Apologies, I'm looking up how carrying works and if it can. Except I forgot how the fucking alphabet works, apparently. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, okay, we're okay. This would be more under that. Okay, no. Because, oh, no! I need that still on that page. I didn't mean to pull off my marker. I meant to use it to turn the page. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, I found it. I got it. Okay, yeah, these things have absolutely no... Okay. <laughs> uh, so you you you're you're like shoving this thing away from you. Is yeah, what you're doing? Yeah. You were, oh yeah, you were like uh, basically kicking it. roundhouse kicking it away. Yeah. Yeah. So you your your leg catches this thing, um, person. If uh. <laughs> Make, might well not want to think about it as a person, um, but your shin catches it right in the chest, and you throw it back against the wall, and pretty sure you hear it, pretty wet thud, uh, as maybe its skull bounces off the mine wall, um, but it bounces back. Uh, it's not. It's not down. It's kind of on all fours. Uh, looks like it's getting ready to pounce again as Ridge takes uh, his action. To right. shoot it. Let me make sure I do this right. Uh, so normal difficulty because it's out of uh, melee, or does it count as correct? Okay. It is no longer engaged. Okay. Uh, Fifty-eight out of sixty-eight. Uh, so that's a success. That's a success. Uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. You, uh, that is three down out of three. All right. Yes. And that's the night. It is 11 o'clock. Awesome. All right. Yeah. And that was the last one? That was right. the last one, yep. Three. Awesome. 
It was three. And you got three out of three. So how did combat feel? Just a short debrief sort of thing as we... I liked it. Seems pretty yeah. pretty simple. It kept the momentum, in my opinion. Yeah. It, Good. Even yeah. with looking things up and figuring things out every once in a while. Yeah, I think uh, once we get, you know, once we do it a couple more times, it should flow. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty well. All right. Um, yeah. Well, well, Jason, that was nothing like Enceladus. <laughs> That's for sure. No. All right. Well, no. this has been Adrift, folks, and I have been your Game Master, Ava. Make sure to come back next week as we continue figuring out what the hell is going on with the crew of the Odyssey. Celestia Core Odyssey. Whoever they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>